Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing you your weekly read for September 20th through the 26th for Taurus. Um, today we are going to do You, Them, and the Connection um, and see what pops out for you guys. We're also going to get a White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message from your person, a Message of Love Oracle Card from All Things Intuitive, a Heart Songs of the 90s by Celestial Forecast by Carrie, and a dog, I'm sorry, Divine Dog Wisdom Card by Randy Crutcher and Barb Horn. These readings are all general, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, you can check your moon and rising if you'd like and see if those resonate any better, but just take what you want and leave the rest. Um, I do have my website up and running, so if you are interested in a personal read, there are, um, step, I, there are directions on how to do that. <laughs> um, 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 I think that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. I do appreciate your support. Uh, and forgive my hoarseness in my voice. I'm struggling with some allergies right now. All right, Taurus in their connection. Taurus in their connection. All right, Taurus. So the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is often someone who is very direct, a good communicator, um, says what they think, things with their head, not so much with their heart. Um, sometimes could be cold and distant um, and disconnected or detached, but um, I think that might be, I think that might be kind of what's popping up here, Taurus. So let's get into the cards and we'll clarify what we need to, because I feel like there's definitely, I'm not sure this is the best read, but we'll see what we got. Okay, so for you, Taurus, we have the Seven of Swords, the Magician, and the Moon card. So the Seven of Swords tends to represent like lies and deceptions. The Magician is manifesting something, um, making something happen, often a soulmate. Um, and then the Moon card is um, using your intuition or um, hiding something that's hidden, something that uh, you're unaware of. So I think... Um, Perhaps it's like lies and deceptions that you're unaware of in a situation or you're lying to yourself about what you really want. So like your, in, your intuition is telling you something um, and you're kind of lying to yourself. My thought is, my thought is you're probably lying to yourself about what you really want, but you're still manifesting your soulmate, right? Or you're manifesting love to come in. You're wanting someone to come in. Um, and be your soulmate, but you're really not being true to yourself and you're, 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 you're lying to yourself, basically. That's kind of the vibe I get. Other readers might read this something differently, but that's what I kind of see as a situation. Um, your person has definitely struggled with some heartbreak, right? So there's sadness there, heartbreak. Um, they're pretty, uh, self-sufficient with the Nine of Cups energy. They're, um, emotionally stable but this is a singular energy and they're really working on their finances because they come out as the king of pentacles so someone very grounded stable loyal um someone that's in it for long-term commitment your connection it looks okay um the strength card is here so i think it's going to be one that requires some strength I, I feel like you're lying to yourself and your person's dealing with heartbreak um but you will have a clear start like a new start with clarity so um it's going to probably take some strength to find the start because something has to come to an end first i'm going to clarify what this ending is um the ten of swords is an ending it's usually depicted in general tarot as someone with uh ten swords stuck in their back and they're on the ground it and they're not alive. Um, so I think that this is definitely depicting an ending of something. But we also have a, a clear clear beginning. So um, I think it's going to take some strength to get to this clear beginning. Because something's ending. And perhaps it's a situation with the, the person on the top there. Maybe their heartbreak is ending. Maybe their heartbreak is ending. So maybe that's a good situation. So let me clarify first. I'm going to actually clarify Taurus. Um, what's going on with you in this deception card in the moon card in the magician card so let's clarify for taurus what's going on for taurus here with this deception the moon card clarifies the moon card i just think that's crazy the nine of swords so like you're kind of up at night in your head thinking too much not sleeping anxious and the seven of swords 
which is um, like being guarded. So uh, I think, yeah, I think you are definitely in your head. Um, you're keeping yourself guarded. You're probably deceiving yourself. I really kind of get that vibe that this is not a, a deception from someone else. It's you kind of trying to talk yourself out of what you really know in your heart that you're not saying. Like that moon card, that intuition. Um, whether it's you should be with this person or you shouldn't be with this person, uh, I feel like you're deceiving yourself. Um, I think we're going to um, clarify this Ten of Swords in the connection. That's going to be the next thing we clarify. The Ten of Swords in this connection. The Six of Pentacles. of wands hmm so I think um, so the six of pentacles the queen of cups and the page of wands are clarifying this ending so I think perhaps um, there was a situation that you thought was gonna or, or in this I think honestly it's for your person there was a situation that your person felt like was going to be a situation where there was an equal give and take with a lot of love they probably felt a lot of love towards their person and there was a, a love proposal um but it came to an end and i think that's where it created a heartbreak for your person so perhaps um this this reading if you're thinking about someone in particular they've really had a bad breakup and they're kind of been independent and sad since that situation so but i do see um strength being in the connection with clarity so i think that um you are going to be able to move forward after this person ends this false this false situation or the situation that they thought it was going to be so great and it really wasn't i'm going to just I'm, I'm not doing this for everybody else but i'm going to just clarify real quickly like um i want to use this deck actually what is going to be the overall outcome of this connection? Because that's the connection. It's going to require strength with mental clarity. But what's going to be the overall outcome Overall outcome between Taurus and their person? Knight of Cups. Two of Swords. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Yeah, okay. So I think that you and your person, there's going to be a potential love offer here, right? A, a proposal of some sort. Romantic proposal communication um it could be wish fulfillment like your wish fulfillment um or it also could be um someone has some options and has a path to pick i think it's options someone has the options in love and they're gonna have to choose they kind of feel stuck and at a stalemate but they're gonna have to choose but i do think um you are gonna have a, a, a proposed romantic proposal or a love offer all right so we are going to get a message of love oracle card by all things intuitive give us some further guidance these are um, just kind of general messages about the love situation but not from your person directly release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go oh and awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation yeah so i think um release the lies and deceptions you're telling yourself and your person probably needs to release this pain that they're feeling and uh, you both are kind of probably moving towards this awakening. So, um, wow, that really kind of fits really well. We're going to get a White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message Oracle card from your person. Let's see what your person thinks or has to say to you. Or I guess that's way too many. I get, uh, I'm going to take the one that was facing up. I find everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible. I find everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible. So, so your person finds you irresistible and pleasurable. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're going to get a Heart Songs from the 90s by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. These are song lyrics from the 90s. Um, the song may resonate with you as like a favorite. It may resonate with you for this person or the lyrics just might mean something relevant to the reading. So take with, um, like I said, take what resonates and leave the rest. So hold on one second. It's no, uh, Don't Speak by No Doubt. Oh, so this could be perhaps your person is saying this to the other person that they're leaving or that caused them heartbreak. Um, you and me, we used to be together, every day together, always. 
I really feel that I'm losing my best friend. I can't believe this could be the end. It looks as though you're letting go. And if it's real, well, I don't want to know. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to let you take that however it resonates. Because I'm running short on time. So we're going to get one last Divine Dog Wisdom card by Randy Crutcher and Barb Horn. And this is just usually general guidance. So we'll see what the Divine Dogs want you to know. Joy. Find your bliss. Yeah, stop being in those shadows. Stop being in your head. Stop having these sleepless nights and deceiving yourself and being so guarded. Find your bliss. Find your joy. It's waiting for you, Taurus. I think things are all going to move in your favor. Um... You're going to have this Knight of Cups, this offer, this romantic offer. So, all right, guys, that concludes the reading for today. Um, until next time, I hope you have a great one. Thanks for watching, and if you would, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, guys, bye-bye.